Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Kevin's Commentary. I've been around a while, and I've seen some dynamic basketball players. Our guest today is one of the top three I've ever seen at Wyoming. We're talking about Hannah Zavik, uh, the greatest cowgirl basketball player, but I'm going to put you in with men or, or women in that category. Welcome to uh, back to the United States and to our show. Hannah, it's great to see you, and uh, congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction. Thank you. It's great to be back. What does that uh, mean to you, to be in the Hall of Fame? Uh, it's a huge honor, obviously, um, to be included in um, a group like that. I, I don't know. It, it's really it's a great feeling. I mean, it's just it tops off an amazing college experience that I had with the Cowgirls, and um, yeah, it's always nice to be acknowledged. I do prefer the team acknowledgements, you know, but. Um, it is nice. I put in a lot of um, blood, sweat and tears and I left my family. Um, I relocated to a new country. So it is nice to, um, to be recognized for the hard work and sacrifice. Well, we enjoyed watching you so much here. Catch us up on what you've been doing. Of course, you played professionally. Mm -hmm. Now you're retired. Uh, tell us about what's going on for you. Yeah, so I did. I, I played up until last year. Um, I, I played in Australia. We won a championship with the Berlin Boomers. I went and played in EuroLeague in Hungary for a couple of seasons. Um, I was with our national team for five years. And um, yeah, I, I had a great, a great run with basketball. Injuries kind of got the better of me the last few years. So it, it kind of um, was time last year to, to call it quits. and. And um, yeah, I've been chipping away at my degree, so I'll be um, graduating with my nutrition degree from here uh, in December. Do you ever sit back and think about what you and your team, teammates, accomplished while you were here? Yeah, all the time. I mean, my family, um, we've sat down a few times and watched the, um, the DVDs from the WNIT and all that, and um, it was just such an amazing time. I don't want to forget it anytime soon, and so I do. I look. I, I think about it and um, yeah, I've never come close to having any type of experience like that after uh, after I left Wyoming. So it's something that I'll cherish forever and uh, it was just an amazing experience with a great uh, group of people too. What made those teams special in your mind? I think our chemistry on and off the court, um, it just made it so enjoyable because everyone got along. There weren't any egos, everyone knew their role and they played it well. And so achieving good things just made it all the more enjoyable because we're doing it in a, a good, honest, fun way. You know, we're just, everyone was very upfront and, um, and just, yeah, it was just fun because it was just, I can't even explain it, but, but the group of people that we had, the coaches put together in the way that they um, coached us and, and that was just, it all just seemed to work and it was great. You know, it occurs to me, we're sitting in this new locker room, which I'm sure you were impressed with. Yeah. Uh, and the legacy that those teams left here probably has helped these cowgirls have these kind of things. Do you think about that? I hope so. I mean, I think our success was really great for the university. Um, I was talking to Amy and the coaches um, yesterday about uh, my freshman year when we were going to games and we had probably 50 people in the crowd. And uh, so we'd be in um, the Bowler Jacks ute, driving around, um, yelling out to people walking down the street to come to our games. Because <laughs> they're like, we promise it'll be great, come on. And everyone would just be like, whatever. Like, so by our senior year, we had thousands of people at the games. And I've heard now that there are thousands of people regularly to games. And that's so great to hear because it definitely wasn't the case when we first got here. So um, I think, yeah, I hope we did contribute to that. And um, that's nice to, to know now that they're getting great support. What did you take away from the experience here that maybe helped you in your professional career? Dealing with like adversity and all that. I mean, I was away from home. I was pretty young and, and made me grow up pretty quickly and, and to try and um, make basketball and other, your other life separate you know, so that you can focus on basketball, even though, you know, maybe I am missing home or I'm far away from my family and all that. And I think that's really helped me um, after, after college because there's, you always deal with adversity and if you can kind of put that aside and keep playing, um, you'll do all right. So. Well, it's a special treat for us to have you back here. You are one of the all-timers and we're so proud of uh, what you did here and what you've accomplished in your career. And, we wish you the best and come back every once in a while. I know. I miss this place. I need to come back more. But, you know, life goes on and 
everything's busy, but I will plan another trip back soon. Hannah Salvik, our guest today. Thank you, Hannah, very much. Good luck. Thank you. And until next time, go wild.